Hey everybody, this is Trevor and you're watching my channel, Social Dilemma. Thank you for coming here today. And the dilemma that I've been thinking about for the past four days is uh, seeking medical attention. Now, for the past four days, I've been suffering from a toothache. And, you know, it's, it's I've taken some, you know, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, it has been helping. Um... But if it doesn't help in the next couple of days, I'm going to have to go to see a dentist. Uh, hopefully, you know, it would never get to the point where you have to go to an emergency room. But, okay, you know, if you had to, you had to. But uh, what it got me thinking was, uh, like three years, I'm going to talk. So in 2019, I had the same kind of toothache. Went to a dentist. And, you know, obviously 2019 is pre-COVID era. The dentist looked and said, no, 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 don't need to pull a tooth. I really thought a tooth had to be pulled. It was that bad of a pain. Uh, and he determined, no, I just, uh, you know, I had um, an infection. Actually, he, he uh, determined I had an ear infection. He gave me some antibiotics. And within, you know, two days, I was feeling great. You know, the pain was gone. Didn't have to take any more Advil or anything. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm on day four of a toothache, taking some, you know, ibuprofen and acetaminophen. But I might have to go to a dentist. And right now, it's, you know, it's November 2022. Uh, most of the government's uh, COVID mandates have been lifted. Uh, unless you're going into a hospital, you're still uh, forced to put on a bandana across your face or whatever rag you can find in your garage. doesn't really matter. But you have to put something on your face. But a dentist office right now, I'm sure I could walk in. Maybe they'd have me put a mask and they'd force me to have a mask on, which I might do if the tooth just gets to that point, you know, where you're just, you're jumping through the ceiling, it hurts. Which makes no sense anyways, because as soon as I get into the dentist chair, they're obviously going to have to remove the, the garage style rag or whatever you're going to put over your face. So it doesn't make any sense to me, but it got me thinking, what if, you know, back in 2020, 2020, 20, 2021, um, even up until really June of this year, 2022, what if the government, and I'm not sure if it was like this, but, you know, the, the vaccine mandates, you know, to, to, you know, have a job. If you want to work in the, the medical field, you had to have a, a vaccine. You had to have the COVID vaccine. Well, what if I went in, I had to go into a dentist's office and, and this could happen again, because I do think. And I, I really think that uh, the federal government and provincial governments and, and even the local governments are all going to, you know, there are some grumblings about putting the, the uh, you know, the garage style rags over your face again. And um, what if it got to a point where, like, you had to have a vaccine to go into a dentist's office? Like, what if the dentist, some of them would be like, whoa, whoa, I'm not going to see you because you haven't had a COVID-19 vaccination. Or what if the government just mandates that you walk into any medical uh, facility and a dentist's office is obviously classified, it's a medical facility. What if they say you have to have a, a particular medical procedure to get in there? What would I do? I mean, right now, okay, the toothache, hopefully it goes away. Um, I think I just bit down on something hard last week. But if it, you know, if I have to continue to be taking Advil and, and acetaminophen every eight hours or whatever, like I'm gonna have to go in, and hopefully, you know, there's I don't know, you know, they're not gonna stop you at the door and say, do you have a medical procedure? But, but what if that had happened to me during, you know, you know, basically March 2020 up until you know June 2022, they started really kind of not pushing the vaccine mandates as much anymore. Although they, they still are, they would still like you to be up to date, which is, I don't know, what the Canadian government considers now. Every three months, six months, nine months, whatever. But what if what if during that time I'd had that toothache? I don't even know if, if I could have gotten into a dentist's office to have my tooth looked at, like whether it needed to be extracted or I just needed antibiotics. But what if in the future here, and the future could be next week for all I know because things change so much in this world. But what if next week the government says, hey, you walk in any medical facility, you have to wear a mask. Okay, if I my tooth was aching right now, yeah, I'd probably slap on a mask, which I have, I've only done once since March 2020. 
um, and it was to enter a hospital. But what if the government says all medical facilities, you have to have at least uh, one medical procedure, you know, the COVID-19 in injection. What do I do? I, I don't want to take it. I haven't had it. I've never, I worked in seven hospitals here in Canada from 1996 to 2016, and never once did I take an influenza vaccination. So I just, I just, that's the way I am. It's the way I operate, okay? Uh, I get sick, I deal with it. I don't want to take a COVID shot either. I don't want to. I just, just the way I am, okay? Okay, deal with it. But what if, you know, and anyways, in that 20 years of time, no one ever camped and, and cried, said, well, you're, you're, you're killing grandma and grandpa by not taking the influenza shot. Well, no one ever did that. But apparently COVID's different. So, but, but what if uh, the government institutes that again and a dentist's office are forced? What do I do? Do I get like a, a backroom alley dentist to, to fix me? That That's like, hey, you know, all this COVID is BS and I'm here to treat people and I want to help you. Like, what do I do? Illegally have a dentist illegally work on me? Like what? What What could happen? What happens? And it's really got me thinking. It, it's concerning that, you know, next week, uh, governments, the government here in Canada on all, you know, federal, provincial, local levels could just say, hey, you can't enter a building unless you've had a COVID vaccination. Well, I don't want to get one, and I don't want to feel forced to get one. Okay, like before the COVID thing, you know, influenza, maybe some dentists, let's just talk about dentist's office in particular here. Maybe some of them, I don't remember any dentist ever saying, well, you can't come in here unless you've had the influenza vaccination. But I guess before then, it, it, it would be a dentist's option, right? It could, you know, I would just go to the next dentist. And obviously, <laughs> during you know, influenza season, I probably went to see a dentist and, you know, maybe got influenza or had influenza. I don't know. But, but what I'm, I'm really, it's the force. It's the use of force from government to, to say, you can't enter this particular building. You can't do this unless you have a certain medical procedure. Okay. This was, it was a concern of mine during covid and again, we're still in it here in Canada. COVID's around. It's here to stay. But, you know, you, you, there's still some mandates the government's pushing here in Canada. But but what if they really push that mandate again of you have to have a COVID vaccination to enter any building? Uh, you know, even to live in my own home. I'm going to sit in my own home. Maybe they force you. So it really gets me thinking. It really has gotten me thinking, like, how do what, what would I do? I mean, a toothache. I mean, every kid's gone through it. Every adult, every person's had a toothache to the to the point where, okay, after a few days of taking some, you know, over-the-counter pain meds, it just doesn't work. You know something's up. You have to go to the dentist. And, and I'm kind of in that, uh, you know, I'm almost thinking I'm going to have to go to the dentist. Uh, right now it's not hurting, but I'll, like this morning I took some, some Advil, Tylenol. So I'm, I'm doing okay, but I'm just trying to... Um, clean it out and whatnot it's fine but if i have to go to a dentist right now i'm sure i don't need to have a covid to to prove to the people there my medical status uh but but it could come around again so what do we do what would i do i would i i, I don't i don't want to take a medical procedure okay that that i haven't voluntarily decided to take okay and what do you do? What do you do? What if I have to go into a hospital and have emergency surgery? Um, now, I worked in an operating room, and I know that when patients, I know that they all got antibiotics. Um, I'm hoping this was talked with the patients and whatnot beforehand, but, uh, you know, antibiotics... Um, you know, I've taken antibiotics. I'm not against antibiotics, that's for sure. I took an antibiotic to clear up my tooth here. But it's just, when it comes to certain medical procedures, I just don't want them. I just don't want them. I've never taken a flu shot, never took the COVID shot. It's just something different about that. That's just who I am. And I should be able to, as a sovereign individual, I would think, to have the freedom to choose 
what I want and what I don't want. And perhaps uh, more people need to wake up to the fact that, yeah, when you have surgery, everyone gets an antibiotic. And, uh, you know, I was present for quite a few operations where that's where the doctor would come in and ask the anesthesiologist if, you know, they'd had their antibiotics. Yes, okay, well, let's go ahead and have the surgery. It's not an overuse of it. It's it's fine. That, that's been a proven thing. But, uh, you know, COVID shots, obviously, it came around so quick. I just was like, hey, there's been no trials. I, I just didn't feel comfortable with it. Uh, but even with influenza vaccinations, there's trials, and it's been out for a while. I still, you know, even up to 2016, decided I'm not going to take it. So that's where I stand on that. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm not an anti uh you know, I'm not against antibiotics or anything. I just want to have, everyone should have the freedom to choose what they would like to put into their body, okay? My body, my choice, right? Isn't that, isn't that the whole thing in the past, you know, seven years? My body, my choice? So, it just really concerns me and I would like to express that concern with people. And, and you know, th please think about it. Think about if you're, <coughs> you know, you're against... Uh, you just don't want to have a certain medical procedure, the COVID injection. What happens when the government mandates it again and forces businesses to uh, have, you know, you have to prove that you have it. And, and when it comes down to like, like a dentist, if you need to go see a dentist, uh, what do you do? What would I do? I would, you know, I can't, you know, what am I, you can't, if you can't get into a medical building without proving that you have a COVID vaccination, how would I, how, I guess I'd have to take it, wouldn't I? Is that what I'd have to do? Is that what, you know, everyone asking for a pandemic amnesty right now, is that what you would want to hap, happen, happen to me and other people who've decided not to get a particular medical procedure? Is that what you want? You want that for us? You want that for people? Okay, okay, I guess that's what, uh, maybe that's, it seems like that's what everybody wants, but uh, think about it, think about it, and it's really made me think, like, what happens, uh, I can't get into see a dentist unless I have a, a COVID vaccination, what do I do? I mean, it's a huge dilemma, that's, that's a social dilemma right there, like, what do you do? Do I, I take it? I mean, you need, I, I couldn't, I'm not going to do a castaway and take a, a skate skate blade and, and knock out my tooth of the rock I mean I, I don't know I don't know what it you know it, it reminds me of um, just people getting certain medical procedures like that back alley medical procedure I mean is that what it's gonna come to is that what it's gonna come to you have to find a dentist to say okay you know I you don't have this particular medical procedure but I'll still help you is that what it's gonna come to I certainly hope not. So just want uh, everybody to think about that. Um, you know, if you're not COVID vaccinated, think about that. If you were like me and didn't have to use any medical facilities since uh, the beginning of this government shutdown, uh, what if you have to? It comes back around again. Government shuts everything around and you need to, to have seek emergency medical attention. And if they... What if it's a refusal unless you get a, a, the COVID vaccination? What do you do? It's a huge moral and ethical dilemma. And for people that, you know, if you, if you think everybody should have the COVID vaccination, think about those kind of people that, uh, think about us, okay? You want, COVID, you want pandemic amnesty. Well, you better start thinking about all the people who don't want to take it but are going to need medical attention emergency medical attention okay you want the pandemic amnesty okay i'll give that to you but you better not be pushing for any more of this stuff it better be all voluntary okay all the covid vaccination stuff voluntary okay uh that's my rant for today and just please think about that think about that medical attention and what would you do if you were denied it unless you got a COVID vaccination, what do you do? Okay, thanks very much, folks. Have a good day. Stay free.